Hey, what's up everyone? Today we are talking Hybrid Hunter Jr. Shallow version. Here's the crazy part. I've never done a video on the Hybrid Hunter Jr. I talk about the regular one all the time. To be honest with you, I throw it all the time. I throw that one most of the time. I get that question a lot. They, they ask me the differences of it. Here's the deal. I just throw their other one a lot. I'm fishing tournaments a lot. I'm trying to go after like the biggest ones. A lot of times I have a team partner so I can I can kind of go after like the biggest fish at all times, right? And to be honest with you, I've just, that was the first one I ever figured out and I've caught a whole bunch of fish. I live down here in Texas. I don't know if that really matters, but uh, yeah, I just, I catch a lot of giants on it. However, I have thrown the junior and have caught a lot of fish on it. So we're gonna talk about that real quick. So here lately, I've been fishing this one a lot. So I got some footage of it. Now the footage, I'll give you a little background to it. Uh, Strike King called me up. They wanted to do some next level projects, some videos. And I said, all right, yeah, let's go. And I said, what, what are we doing them on? And so they, they, they talked about doing them on the Thunder Cricket, the Hybrid Hunter and all these different things. I'm like, let's go, let's go to the lake. We'll go out there right now and, and we'll shoot them on all of it. So I brought all my stuff and we got ready to go. So at the beginning of the day, we're catching them on a Thunder Cricket and Hybrid Hunter and things like that. At the end of the day though, I was like, hey, let's pick this thing up. Let's go to work. And I, this is important. I wanna explain this, cause I think this is the biggest, I, I wanna say maybe this video is kind of highlighting this and then kind of showing you what I'm throwing it on. Cause that's the biggest question I get. For the guys who catch them on it and get bit on it, they care about this. And this is important. The other part of this video is for guys that struggle with this bait, okay? And I'm gonna explain why, and I'm gonna show you why. And I think if you look at this bait a little bit different, then, then it's hard. It's hard to like look at this bait and go, that's not what it is. I'm gonna get y'all to look at this bait with a different mindset. It should help y'all out. If you've never seen this bait, don't know about this bait, uh, I'll leave links in the description to Tackle Warehouse, okay? For this bait, and specifically this rod. Um, the real line, hooks, all that stuff will be on there. I got the Zowire owner hooks. All that'll be on there. But this rod is going to be important, guys. I've said this a bunch. I'll go over why that is, okay, in the video. The video is gonna be a whole bunch of fishing stuff, some fish catches, and I want y'all to really pay attention to things. In the video, I'm showing y'all the video so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Real quick, let's go over how I have it rigged up. This is the same setup I have for the regular one. For, this, for the regular Hybrid Hunter, I throw it on the exact same setup. You can tell, I have it on the same rod. These are the same rods, same reels. It's a Super Duty Speed Stick, okay? 7.6, medium heavy. Like, like I said, in the description, there'll be a link. I lose, Super Duty, and then you have to might click on 7.6, medium heavy. This is not a crankbait rod. I understand everyone looks at this bait and goes, hey, it's got a bill. It's a crankbait. No, it can be. It sort of can be, right? But just because it has a bill doesn't mean it's a crankbait. No one looks at a jerkbait and goes, oh, that's a crankbait. No, they look at it as a jerkbait because everyone's so accustomed to that bill making it look like a jerkbait and work like a jerkbait. But it's a bill. It can dive just like a crankbait. Right? So I want y'all to stop kind of viewing this sometimes as just a crankbait. What I mean by that is, I don't want you sometimes to throw this where you would throw a crankbait or as a replacement to a crankbait. It's not what this is. You'd be surprised. I use it differently. I actually use it, I wouldn't say a replacement. I, I, I'm biased to this, but I think this can be better than like a thunder cricket or chatterbait or jackhammer. I use it more in place of that. Sometimes, even in this video, I use it more as a replacement for a swim jig or a spinner bait. You're thinking that's not a swim bait or a jig or a chatter bait or thunder cricket. No, it's not. That's the point. All those are what? They all have maybe a little blade. They all have a skirt. They all have a jig head. None of them make noise. None of them float. None of them have the erratic action this thing does. However, this thing can go in the same type of water. 
the same depth of water, the same level of water, and stay there. While all the other crankbaits dive down, this can actually stay in that depth of water you're throwing the, those other things in. We throw those other things in there to usually keep them up off of things, up off the bottom, up off of grass, up off of, of baits. We're, we're not dragging a spinner bait, a swim jig, or a thunder cricket on the bottom like sometimes we do a crankbait. Okay? So we sometimes look at this and go, hey, I want it to be a crankbait. But it's not one at times. Okay? So in this video, you can see I'm throwing this in a foot of water and maybe at two foot at times, but they're hitting it in less than a foot of water. But it's not a top water. It's not a wake bait, but it's close. There's not another bait like it. There's not another hard bait that can move that fast with that much action, with that much noise and not look like everything else. It's one of a kind. So you can go behind everyone else Throwing all, I mean, you go out to those lakes, man, and you just see everyone throwing a, throwing a chatterbait, throwing a thunder cricket, throwing a spinnerbait, throwing a swim jig. And all those fish have seen that. And you're the only one throwing this. And that's what happens. You can even see in the video how I've been throwing one and I instantly pick it up. And what happens when I pick it up instantly. There you go. Also have this paired with the Lose Custom Pro 8 3 to 1. I want a fast reel. I want a fast reel because I'm not, I'm, I can reel this thing fast or I can reel it slow. But you, you, you see me a lot of times and I'm kind of, I'm changing the speeds of it a bunch. I want it reacting. I want it erratic. I want it to do different things. The faster I reel it, the more I pump it and do things like that, I get a louder, louder noise because when you listen to this thing, it's loud. Your spinner bait, your swim jig, your thunder cricket, they don't make that noise. This thing does. I also have it on 20 pound sunline, sniper. You're like, whoa, 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 20 pounds. We don't crankbait with 20 pound line. Exactly. I do, because it's not a crankbait. If you watch how I'm reeling it, notice how I set the hook? This isn't a crankbait rod. This rod's a little bit way firmer than a crankbait rod. If you notice the tip, it, it, it's it's more balanced throughout the rod. It doesn't have this like real fast tip that, that, that bends a lot. It bends all throughout the rod on purpose. If you notice, I'm setting the hook on them. I'm setting the hook because they're not loading up on this bait. They're hitting this bait. They hit it like a swim jig or a spinner bait or things like, they actually hit it more like just your regular old jig on the bottom. I mean, they thump the fire out of this thing. So you can see, I can feel when they hit it. There's no load up. I mean, they're hitting it and I'm, I'm leaning into them. I do that because they're hitting it so hard and sometimes they create so much slack by how hard they hit it. So this rod's important. That's why, that's why I have it on a heavier rod, a 7.6 rod. It's still medium heavy, but like I said, it's not a crankbait rod. It's not a thunder cricket rod. Thunder crickets are a lot lighter rods. It's almost more like your swim jig rod. It's more like your a, a, a heavy duty spinner bait rod, right? It's more the rod. All right, guys, this is really important. Okay, this is what this is the the part I want you to really pay attention to. So I'm throwing the regular hybrid hunter. I'm in this pocket, but if you notice, I'm not throwing to the bank. I'm throwing in the middle of this like pocket. You can see the bank is to the left of me. And it's really flat. It's really shallow. I'm kind of getting a little bit in the grass. Okay, and I'm throwing in the middle of this pocket with the regular one. because so I want it to get down a little bit deeper, but the grass is still kind of high, so it's kind of still giving me a little bit of fits. But watch what I do. And this is what I want y'all to pay attention to. I reach down and I pick up a thunder cricket. Okay, this is my thunder cricket. Now look where I throw, towards the bank, towards the really shallow water. Okay, if you see, I, I start reeling instantly. Look, I'm already on the bottom with the Thunder Cricket. It's only like a foot there. And so I'm, I'm kind of having to reel it fast. This is a 3 8 ounce Thunder Cricket and it's still, it's even kind of still getting a little too deep. So I'm like, ah, that's, you know, I, I'm gonna throw it again out there. I'm throwing the same, the same little area. You see how I'm kind of getting hung up and stuff? It, it'll, it'll sometimes go a little too deep. 
And and I can work it through there and it's fine. But man, this lake has been absolutely pressured. And I know this. I'm going to throw it around a little bit here and there. And this is what I'm trying to explain to y'all that that I I use this hybrid hunter not as crankbaits all the time. I use it not in replacements, but you got to think like where where would I throw other baits like this? Like you, this is such a unique bait. You got to look at it differently. So now I pick up what? Look, where is it? There's my hybrid hunter junior shallow. Makes perfect sense. Throw in the exact same area. Instant. It's instant, guys. It's amazing how fish will react differently like that. And I'm telling, so yeah. I'm laughing at it because I'm like, did you see how fast that was? That's to to the cameraman who's with me from Strike King. It, it was it was instantaneous the difference between the two because I was like, man, they should eat this thing. I mean, I literally almost called it. I was like, man, watch this work. So now I'm like, okay, <laughs> watch what's about to happen. Because I'm telling you, guys, I've seen this happen so much. And I'm like, it's it's about to go down. I know it's about to go down. So I'm gonna kind of keep throwing up there. And got, like I said, we're throwing very, very shallow. A foot, foot and a half, two foot at most. It might be two foot where we're sitting, two and a half, but it's so flat, the lake's really drawn down low. You can see how flat everything is around me. Again, same area. Same where that Thunder Cricket went through. It wouldn't matter if Thunder Cricket, Jackhammer, Chatterbait, doesn't matter. Guys, it's such a different bait. And you gotta think of it as a different bait. And when you finally start looking at it as a different bait, not a crankbait, it's not a thunder cricket, it's not a, it's just its own unique deal that can fish water that you're not used to throwing a bait like this in. When I say a bait like this, a bait that looks like this. Because the the profile is going to say, "Oh, it's a crankbait." But I don't view it that way. I don't view it as a profile or anything that I just view it as something that can actually work the right way. It's it's a tool. Guys, you gotta think of it as a tool in your toolbox. This is just another tool that I can throw that no one else, like maybe no one else even has this tool. No one's even trying to use this tool. And it's a better tool. I'm so you see me shaking my head? I'm just sitting here like this is crazy. I'm just kind of talking about how like how how this bait works so differently and how, how crazy sometimes it can be that it's so much different and just a, a different type of bait like that instantly catches them. When do I throw this? When do I throw this over the regular size? Man, it's one of those deals you just kind of have to play with. Now, fast forward, practicing in an event. You got an event in a couple days. About a, a, a week, a week or two later, same kind of conditions, kind of seeing flat bank. Got old plopper out. I'm a, I'm a, been trying some different things out, and and to be honest with you guys, I just wasn't really. I kind of wanted to do something different. I'm, I'm thinking like, man, what do I really want to throw out here? I've been kind of doing some different things. I hadn't, I, I've been in a lot clearer water. I haven't been in this kind of water. I've been kind of a little bit deeper. And I'm throwing my little plop around. I'm just like, man, what, what's going to work, right? Things always going through my head. What's going to work? I'm like, ah, wait a minute. I remember what was working the other day. There he is, though, Junior. It, I don't even know what to say. Instantly. Instantly. Now, like I said, I am practicing for an event. It's a team event. So I'm over here. I'm calling my, my partner up. I'm like, hey, man. 
it literally first cast. It it's going down. Like I don't know I don't know why what didn't start off the morning throwing this. I think I did and caught some, but I've been doing some other stuff. I didn't get this in the camera. It's like a four pounder. Now, if you can see, I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking to my buddy like, dude, it's like, put it on, start throwing it. It's it's going to go down. These are all the kind of things that, you know, I'm trying to explain to y'all. Look, it's a good one. And, and that's kind of how you start figuring things out. I mean, you, you just figure out a pattern. You know, I probably wouldn't have thrown this if I hadn't done that shoot the other day. You know, I been, but I was kind of going through baits, going through different things. And then, I mean, I'm like, here it is. These are the kind of things sometimes that you have to go through while fishing. I wasn't thinking to throw this. We were just out there doing a bunch of videos. And then I ended up taking this bait and fishing it in tournaments over the next couple of weeks because I was catching so many fish in this video. I was like, man, I, I just kind of had it tied on. And next thing I know, I was catching them. What did I forget? Shad spawn. Shad spawn's going on. It, it looks more like, the small one looks more like a shad. And those shad that were spawning are really small. And I was like, dummy, I should have been throwing this the whole time. But yeah, I mean, sometimes they'll eat the small one better during the shad spawn. And what are shad doing? They're spawning, right? Where are they getting? Shallow. Hence the shallow hybrid hunter junior, right? They were getting up there in the dirt. I mean, the dirt, that's what... I mean, if you've ever seen shad spawn, they're always trying to get as shallow as possible to spawn on either, whether it be grass, bushes, rocks. This time it was clay. They were getting on the inside part of the grass and spawning basically on the bank, on clay bottom, in less than a foot. Guess where the bass were? In less than a foot. They didn't really want to blow up on stuff. If you notice, they, were, they weren't busting. They weren't doing any of that. They wanted it right underneath the surface. It's perfect perfect for that but it's perfect for that for a lot of reasons so I throw this a lot of times more or less like I said spinnerbait thunder cricket swim jig top water yeah I mean I throw this a lot of the times when they won't bust on a top water you know they're up there and they for whatever reason it's weird how, how they'll do that they just don't want to breach the surface that's where this works all this stuff comes into play when I'm throwing this bait so if you're having trouble with this bait, not catching fish on it, think of it differently. Don't think of it as a crankbait. Think of other baits like, oh yeah, I probably wouldn't have thrown it there. That's probably where you should be throwing this thing. The biggest mistake I see people do is they try to replace this with like a 2.5 or a square bill. It's not a replacement for those baits. So it, it can work in those same situations and I throw it in those same situations. But I throw it so many other different places and I catch fish on it. So when you're trying to replace it with just another crankbait, it's not necessarily always going to work that way. You've got to think a lot differently with this bait because there's not another bait like it. That's what makes it special. So the Hybrid Hunter Junior. Shallow. Man, go check one of these out. This is the smooth color. This is one I was catching on, smooth. I kind of designed this color a long, long time ago. It's making a comeback. All right, see y'all.